What's good y'all, good morning, it is your boy Jules, back at it again. Today I am showing y'all how I make my own water-soluble calcium from something as simple as eggshells and distilled white vinegar. Once again, this is another Korean natural farming input. Super easy to make, low cost, and extremely effective for your plants. Um, if you're unfamiliar with <clears throat> what uh, calcium is used for, it helps promote cell formation and also helps promote uh, stronger fruits that store longer. Um, it, helps, it also helps prevent blossom end rot. So there's hella reasons why you need calcium. Um, you know, you always see growers talking about needing more CalMag. This is an easy way to get calcium for your plants and it's mad cheap too. Um, so the idea behind this is that eggshells um, have calcium in them, but it takes Essentially, like if you were to crush these up and put them in your garden, it would take a long time for them to actually release the calcium into your garden. So what we're doing with the vinegar is we're gonna crush, we're gonna cook these, crush them up, put them into a mason jar, and then fill it with 10 parts vinegar to one part eggshells. And what the vinegar is doing over seven days is extracting the calcium from the eggshells. This is a 101, I don't know a lot about science explanation, but the idea is the vinegar is extracting the calcium from the eggshells, and then your final solution that you have once you strain out the eggshells is um, calcium stored within vinegar. Um, and so at that point, then you're gonna use that solution at a one to 1,000 ratio in a foliar spray. Um, so I hope that makes sense, y'all. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do with all of our eggshells actually is we are going to take them inside. And as you can see right here, like, you can see all the, you know, the membranes in there. So we want to go inside first and actually wash out all your eggshells to make sure that they're clean. So let's do that. All right, y'all, so the next step in this process is heating up your eggshells. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the eggshells um, we're going to crack them into a frying pan and then just let this cook for about four to five minutes. Uh, what you want to be doing here is just letting the eggshells slightly start to, um, just ever so slightly start to uh, brown. So if you cook them too much, it'll smell bad, it'll be gross. Do not make that mistake. Um, just keep them kind of like lightly simmering and roasting. You're just trying to get the rest of the organic matter on there off. You're trying to kill anything that's still, uh, is still alive on there. So, put them all on and break them up and just start cooking. Okay, so after about 45 minutes of cooking, you know, this is how your eggshell should look. They're a little bit brown. Uh, you might have burnt a few, but for the most part, it should be cooked all the way through. Do not skimp out on time on this. Make sure you cook it for the full 45 minutes to make sure that you're killing all of the uh, organic matter that's still around. Anyways, after that, what you want to do is take your eggshells and put them into a mason jar. So once we have our mason jar filled up with the eggshells, all we're going to do is add 10 parts vinegar. So you want to do one part eggshells to 10 parts vinegar. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't measure this out exactly, um, but you can eye it really. Look for about, you know, 10 parts. And you want to pour this in slowly, not too quick, because uh, the chemical reaction can actually cause this shit to like pop off immediately so pour it in slowly don't go crazy with it and let's go with that right there so you can already see chemical reaction starting to take place beautiful if you don't see this happening that means you probably didn't cook your eggshells long enough um, but right here is the chemical reaction taking uh, taking place and what you want to make sure is that when you cover this up you want to put a breathable lid on this people will often use cheesecloth I'm just gonna use a paper towel and uh, this right here if you put a uh, you know if you put the typical top back on and you seal it and leave no air for it this is bubbling off right now so this is gonna explode your fucking thing do not do that make sure you have a breathable lid on top let the air come out um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is CO2 that is off-gassing right now. And you can see it's it's not fucking playing around. So, anyways, y'all, last step, put this on top, cover it up, label it so you know what it is, and label it with the date. And then after about five to seven days, check on it. And if it's not bubbling, strain it, and you can use it 
Um, I strain it and then use it at about a 1 to 1,000 ratio with my plants as a foliar spray. And it is a excellent uh, foliar spray for things in late flowers. So that's it, y'all. That's how you make water-soluble calcium. Mad easy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this much.